Um, I guess I can give you a little background, kind of the story of um, how this all happened. Um, I was having a difficult time in my marriage. Um, I had two little kids. I'd been home for seven years with my kids out of college. I decided to be a stay-at-home mom. And my marriage wasn't doing great, and I just felt, like, really frumpy. <laughs> and I just thought, okay, well, maybe the marriage could get fixed if I felt better about myself. And even though you really should look on the inside for your feelings about how you feel about yourself, I really knew that if I felt better on the outside, that that would reflect on the inside and maybe that could help the whole situation. So um, I went online and I just typed in um, philanthropic plastic surgeons. And the first one that came up was Dr. Batra. And so when I looked at it, he, um, I'm really organ I'm really involved with my church and a lot of like voluntary mission trips and stuff to TJ and all over um, with my kids I take them and so when I saw that he actually goes to third world countries and he does um, like if children have cleft palates or anything like that he fixes them for free and these are kids that would never have the opportunity ever to even remotely get something like that done and he would spend his money, his time, this busy man to fly somewhere to meet someone he doesn't even know to do something so amazing. I knew when I saw that that he was the guy for me. I didn't even look at his pictures. I just knew that his heart was huge and that's what I wanted from him. So um, I called him. I made an appointment. Um, my first time here was like ten, 10 years ago. It was the first time I ever did anything with him. And I was younger and I did a brow lift and he suggested it, and I was really young to do it anyway, and it just totally changed my look, and it made me feel different about myself, and I wanted to lose weight and start feeling more upbeat and felt like I could do things at home, not just be a mom. And um, even though the marriage actually didn't last after that, um, I still had the confidence in myself that I needed to just move forward in my life. First of all, the practice is super organized. That is the main thing. And Miriam, who is the person that kind of organizes you and tells you what date she has available and kind of organizes your financing and figures all that kind of stuff out, she's so heartfelt and genuine and really goes to bat for you with prices and helps you come up with what you can really afford without pushing you, which I think is a huge deal because a, a lot of plastic surgery places are... Um, kind of like you're going to a used car place like they just really push you to buy the next biggest package and this isn't like that it's it's more like a boutique you know you come in you know what you want um, but if you don't really need that they're not going to try to sell it to you because they're just not that's not that kind of operation um, so she's super sweet and the front desk is always helpful and nice and the uh, um, all the rooms are, I mean, you can't really see the room that I'm in, are all decorated. They're really clean. And um, and downstairs is the facility where you can go. So you come up here and you do your consultation or your repeat appointment or whatever. And then the actual facility is downstairs that you get your your procedure done, which I think is great because you don't get kind of confused instead of going to an outpatient to a hospital or whatever, you're here. So that's perfect. Um, because it's kind of like a one-stop thing, which makes it so much more convenient. And you're already really nervous when you're going to get any kind of surgery done. And they just make you feel comfortable. And they call you before your surgery. They call you after your surgery. Um, they make sure that you have like your all your ducks in a row. And however they can assist you, they always seem to be there for you. Like, like a family member would that cares about what your well-being is and how you're going to be afterwards. So they're awesome. What you're going to get is quality. You're going to get someone that really cares about you. Someone that's not going to try to push something extra on you, which is a huge deal in this industry because there's so many um, people that just come in and out of the business just to make a quick buck. And Dr. Batra and his associates are all in it for the long haul. They're not going anywhere. He's a pretty young doctor. He's going to be here for a while. So you can know that if you had a procedure done 10 years ago, which I did, and then I came recently and had another procedure done. I, I got to be with Dr. Botcher again, which is awesome because I got the same person. And so I got to feel that comfortable feeling of having the same person um, be responsible for my care and make sure that I'm taken care of. So, I mean, the, the biggest thing I can say is, is he has a huge heart and everybody here care, will care about you and they're not going to try to sell you something you don't need. Um, 
and an endorsement is just to just to go online and look at all the great things he's done for little kids like it's just it'll break your heart to see so many children out there that wish they could afford or have their parents could afford to take them to a doctor just to get something fixed like a cleft palate is and and he flies there and spends his own money for free to help these kids that could have never lived a normal life without him and that that somebody's heart if they're going to do that for a stranger just imagine what they're going to do for you if you're their client